this is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening and welcome to Strange Love Live. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. We've got Dr. Normal and Morgan producing behind the desk. And this evening, we are joined by Sabrina Miller. Hello. Hi, Sabrina. Thanks for having me. Does anyone know that you're Sabrina Miller, or are you just Sabrina underscore PDX? I'm just Sabrina underscore PDX. That's just how it works. I understand. That's yes. why I had Cami Chaos as my Twitter name. Yeah. Because then it's less confusing. Yeah. But then it causes everyone to call me Cami Chaos instead of just Cami. Oh. My name is Cami, people. You it's can call Cammy. her that. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay to call me Cami. <laughs> Even some of my friends. Hi, Cami Chaos. Oh, really? I'm like, yeah. I'm surprised that nobody's come up to me and said, hi, Sabrina underscore PDX. Yeah. How are you? They mm. just don't. But that's okay. Yeah. It's that under, if it was just Sabrina PDX and there were no underscore. I'd probably get a lot more tweets. Yeah. It's the <laughs> underscore that does it. Like Morgan is Morgan PDX and I know people call her Morgan PDX. Well, Morgan's smart. Yeah. You're, you're smart, Morgan. But, just, but. Yeah. Everyone doesn't call her by her first name. They call her by her whole Twitter name, which is confusing. That's kind of confusing. All right. So before we go any further, Sabrina underscore PDX is here from PDX.FM. Yes. The dot's a lot easier than the underscore. It totally is. I just want to get right now. So the three shows that are yours that you're on. Mm-hmm. Let's see. The morning show's yours, too. I don't know. Yeah. PDX sucks. It's Sabrina's, too. So PDX sucks. Mm-hmm. And iPhone sluts. And Convention Crashers, is that mm-hmm. the... That's right. So tell us about... And Nerd Report. And Nerd Report. Durr. See? Number four. For See, number I missed four. the fourth one. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Tell us about the four shows. Well, Portland Sex happens on pdx.fm every mm-hmm. morning at mm-hmm. 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. And with myself and my esteemed co-host, Robert Wagner. Mm-hmm. And we just basically talk about kind of whatever we want to talk about. It's... um. It's a morning show. It's a morning show. People don't quite understand that it's not It's a profane morning show. It's a very <laughs> profane morning show that a lot of people, they don't get. They mm-hmm. don't understand, well, if it sucks so bad, when you leave? Or they don't understand why all the swearing and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Well, mm-hmm. it's, you know. Because yeah, you're on Channel 1, dude. Channel 1 has exactly. the bad language. That's why. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's more of a, just a talk show about things that are great with our city, things mm-hmm. that are really crappy about our city, mm-hmm. um, things that we observe within um, media, social situations, things like that, that are just, gets under your skin and just makes you completely irritated that, Like hey, sand in your pants at yes, the beach? Yes, complete sand yeah. in your pants at the beach. Yeah. And it, and we've got an outlet for it. Yeah. And, you know, so that's 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 the morning show. Mm-hmm. Um, on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock on PDX.FM, um, my co-host Emily Gibson, who hosts her own show called The Meat, Meat show. show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We do Convention Crashers, and it's a fairly new show. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty much what it is. We just go to d- different conventions at the Oregon Convention Center, at the Expo Center, mm-hmm. and we bring our... We have our camera and our handheld, and we just talk to random people. Mm-hmm. And it's anywhere from um, the guy selling us a hot dog to the people selling various items, whether they're mm-hmm. actually convention-related or not. Mm-hmm. Um, we've talked to security guards, people selling hot sauce, mm-hmm. um, just anybody and everything that we can find to kind of talk to just to get a feel for the actual convention. The questions are somewhat ridiculous, yeah. absolutely. That's Which they should be. Anything they totally with the word be. crashers? I know. Crashers. Hello. Yeah. Anything with the word crashers at the end of it mm-hmm. should be ridiculous. It totally should. Yeah. Yeah. So we do that. Um, and it's fun. I mean, it's been a lot of fun just figuring out what conventions to hit up mm-hmm. over the weekend. How we do you take, decide that? <sighs> just whatever's in town? or Yeah. There's there's times where we'll do a couple mm-hmm. within a week and um, or within the weekend anyway, knowing that, hey, maybe we always have to look forward because... There may be times where there's absolutely nothing going on mm-hmm. the previous week, so let's try to double up and get some good stuff going. But um, this weekend, I'm really looking forward to the Mind, Body, and Spirit Expo. Huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put on my best patchouli oil. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Well, I didn't <laughs> wear it tonight. I not have any. That's gross. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I can't stand oh, that stuff. Okay. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, we've we've gone to a lot of different ones, and it's it's just it's a lot of fun. I think people really enjoy it. It's just a different aspect, and for people that sometimes can't make the shows that mm-hmm. they really want to go to, it yeah. kind of gives them a perspective on, hey, this is what you missed out on, or this is maybe what you didn't miss out on. Have you ever done one of the bridal expos? No, Emily wants to do one of the bridal oh, expos really bad. My friend made me go to one. It was a it was actually a horrific day, and like horrific bad crazy things happened that day. Um, 
I actually Dr. Normal cut open his arm and had to go to the emergency room. And it was just a big, horrific day, and my friend was getting married, so her fiancé took him to the hospital, and she made me go to this bridal show with her. Oh, God. Oh, my God. (laughs) It was the most... It's totally crazy. There were crazy women there. I know. Crazy, crazy people. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, conventions, convention, like I can handle a tech convention, mm-hmm. but the other conventions kind of freak me out a little because yeah. people are so into that. They're like so into stuff. I know. Yeah. It really kind of scared me. We, a couple weeks ago, we had gone to the gun and knife show uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. uh, and that's all Emily wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, yes, let's go to the beer and wine fest and we'll talk to these wine people. And you know, mm-hmm. not that it's like, Hey, sophistication or anything, but, but Hey, I get a drink. I get a drink. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Who doesn't love that? And yeah. if anybody heard, they Heard me um, drink. Quite was a bit. it the drunk tweets? It was the drunk I, tweets. I saw the yes. drunk tweets. I, I put them all in a row <laughs> and I put them on the uh, the website there mm-hmm. for everybody's amusement. Mm-hmm. Not my own. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, so that one was like really good. But she's like, I want to go to the gun and knife show. She's like, I want a gun in one hand, I want a knife in the other, so I can say I went to the gun and knife show. I'm like, okay, that's fair. It is fair. You know, yeah. we didn't get that picture, but she, you know, Aww. she had a good time. I had a good time. I was completely out of place, and that's part of doing that too. It's yeah. that we can kind of rotate between the two of us going to things that we kind of want to go to. Mm-hmm. There's one coming up that neither one of us really want to go to, but it's kind of like the only thing coming up. Yeah, it's so you gotta do it. Was Kids Expo or Kids Fest or something like that. That scares me. It's a little scary. That kind of thing scares yeah, me. She's like, why would I want to go to that? Like, why would I want to go Maybe to that? Maybe they'll have a bouncy house. That's kind of what I told her. I think oh, I yeah, convinced see? her. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. they have a bouncy ball thing, like a bouncy uh, they palace. They have to with that kind of thing. They have to have something like that. They have like rock climbing and the whole bit. She's see, like, that's fun. I kind of saw her perk up a little bit. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. no, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> as, long as, as long as the kids will let her take turns. Which they're not necessarily they're not known to. for. No. no, they're not going uh, to. So now iPhone sluts. iPhone sluts is which is is the show that that most people would associate you with probably. aside from PDX sucks. Yeah, yeah, probably it's been going on. Actually, we're I think we're just about ready within the next couple of weeks to hit our fiftieth episode. Nice. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been going for a little almost a year, mm-hmm. and it's God, it's it's been a wild ride. Yeah, it really has. It's just basically three girls sitting around reviewing iPhone apps. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we do it in such a way where it is not suitable for work. It is not suitable to be no, no. Uh, have on with your kids in the car. Don't listen with your children in the car. Just, you know, if you're and, a guy, and you know, Don't just listen at the office unless you your boss is headphones. super laid back or you have headphones. Earbuds. But there might be some blushing. There might be some inappropriate facial expressions, so I'm not sure. If you, you know, if you have a really segregated little office area and headphones. Yes. And, you know, maybe even be in seclusion, because mm-hmm. I've actually had quite a lot of comments of um, I'm never listening to you again while I work out. I fell off my treadmill. Mm-hmm. I've had, Solitary I've had confinement. Yes. Solitary confinement. If you were in a hole... Yeah, you can yeah, listen to it. You if you had somewhere to pee, because... I, I, honestly, I've peed my pants a couple yeah. times, you know, yeah. during the show because yeah. it's just been so funny for what other people have said uh-huh. during it. That I'm just going to refresh our drinks. Cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been going for about a year, and we ended up. Um, I actually ended up meeting one of our co-hosts. We had, we switched times, and so we had a little so bit of... So who are your co-hosts for iPhone Sluts? Uh, Emily Gibson, because mm-hmm. I don't, you know, aside from Portland Sucks, I don't do a show without her, because yeah. she's... she's um, Absolutely amazing and wonderful, and I I heart her. She mm-hmm. keeps me young. Oh, oh I don't have. I was saying. Okay. Heart mm. hearts me. Her. Is that? <laughs> I mean, you better be careful on how you do that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Got to do that very carefully. You do that very okay. Carefully. Emily Ibsen mm-hmm. and and Rose Harding and Rose Harding. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I met Rose through Twitter, mm-hmm. and I just I kind of fell in love with her tweets. I was just like, this, this she is hilarious, mm-hmm. and she had just you know gotten an iPhone not too terribly long ago. But I'm like, this just makes sense. She's raunchy enough, mm-hmm. but yet she's really kind of subdued. It's like things that come out of her mouth. Sometimes you're just like, oh my god, I can't believe Rose Harding just said that. <laughs> It's just it's kind of like you cover your mouth and you go, you know, mm-hmm. but um, we, we make a really good team yeah. because we're all very different in the apps that we select or the apps that we're, you know, that we're given. Mm-hmm. And it just, it makes sense. And they're absolutely ridiculous. Some of them are very mainstream, you mm-hmm. know, hey, we're going to review um, 
you know, whatever, like, the top five are in any given category yeah. or whatever. But there's other ones that are just like, I can't believe that a developer would come out with something Who like this. Who would waste their time Who would waste making their money? Their, yes, time and money yes. developing this app. Absolutely. There is there are some, I, I will, like, look through. Even, like, the top 25 sometimes when I'm scrolling through, I'm like, really? Come on, people. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. You can't. On an I no. It's yeah. Not. And it, it's free. Oh, I just, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't pollute my phone like that. I can't no. pollute my phone with a no. free crappy app. No, no. But sometimes the free crappy apps are the best ones. Well, sometimes they are, but some of them are just... Mm-hmm. They're not worthy. No. They're not worthy at all. No. no, no. I actually have a lot of fun browsing. I, like, when I have nothing to do, I'll, like, open up the app store. And mm-hmm. La, 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 la. Yeah. So, what's your favorite app this week? This week? Yeah. Actually, I've been. Um, so this is the time we can play our. We can yeah, take yeah. out our phones it's, and play It's with them. time when Cammy gets to turn her iPhone on on the Yay. show. Ooh. Magic lipstick just fell on the floor. For those of you familiar with my lipstick, it falls on the floor a lot. It's in a really rolly tube. I'd like the company that manufactures this lipstick to make it less rolly. Maybe it, like squared out or triangulated. Yeah, yeah. If they square, I mean, because it's a fantastic lipstick. I'm not going to say the company because they don't. They don't. Uh, you know, I buy my lipstick clearly but it's a really awesome lipstick and it's a really cool color and i like it and all but it's always i ask morgan it's always falling <laughs> on the floor i'm always like morgan where's my lipstick has anybody seen it that's funny sad is what it is um yeah this past week i reviewed um three different apps that were one i kind of liked it has like really no um premise to it mm-hmm the other one is completely useful, especially if you live in Portland. Uh-huh. Um, and the other one, well, it's just from a company that I absolutely adore. They're mm-hmm. foul and they're vulgar, and um, it's Adult Swim. And I just I love, I love Adult Swim. Is that that new um, the so, game? My Little Bastard. No, yeah, I'm, it's not the yeah. new one. They had like they have a sale. I don't know if they still have it, but they were having a sale mm-hmm. on all of their Adult Swim apps. I saw that and released, you know, for this other one that came out. So it was like. 30% off or something. So I got my little bastard for 99 cents. Um, food spotting is one that I reviewed this past week that was really good. What does food spotting do? Food spotting basically... It's like a little mini episode. But yeah, we'll- exactly. We'll just review apps right here. <laughs> um, basically what it does, and I don't know if it's going to work um, here, but it scans for the nearest places where you would most likely dine out and where other people... I'm a person, I like to take pictures of my food. Mm-hmm. And I know there's a lot of people, especially What's it here. called again? Food spotting. Food spotting. I know there's a lot of people that like to take pictures of their food. And mm-hmm. this is a really great app for, I'm taking a picture of my food. I am keying it in as to where it is. Yeah. It maps it out as to, like, how many miles it is from your house. Yeah. And the good thing about it is that because it's community-driven and because it's in Portland, it's loaded. I can't guarantee that, that you're going to find the same results if you live in, like, Michigan or someplace. Yeah. But because we live in such a rich food community, it's got a and lot of stuff. Free. And it's free. And um, it's free. And it's getting downloaded right now. Sweet. Yeah. Typing in my secret password. You guys aren't looking where I am. <laughs> Did you, you guys were looking. Were you looking at my password? <laughs> that's not That's not proper etiquette. It was not polite. Good thing the camera's over there and not behind me. There you That's go. All I'm saying you guys are. Oh. Um, so, food spotting, okay? Food spotting is really good. I'm kind of in love with this other one um, I reviewed a while ago. Mm-hmm. And um, let me try to get back here. It's called Wee Me. Wee Me? It's the Wee Me Avatar Creator. Mm-hmm. Wee Me, yes! It is the coolest thing. Oh, yes, and the iPad Sluts. Yes, Look at that. iPad Sluts is coming soon. Mm-hmm. Just so those of you that are questioning, well, what are you guys going to do about iPads? Does that mean you have an iPad? That means that I'm in the process of getting one. Nice. Are you waiting for the Wi-Fi? Yes. Not for the Wi-Fi, the, the 3G. Um, 3G. Yeah, waiting for the 3G. But don't listen to Cammy. She's only had iPad talk for the last I'm already getting codes year. from developers for, yeah. for iPad stuff. And nice. And it's just like... Thank you, because it's like, I look at the prices on those, and honestly, I'm a little... Yeah. I know a lot of us are intimidated by the price of, you know, oh my gosh, $9.99, up to $15.99 for a game, for an application of any kind. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a little much. $0.99, cents people can tolerate. Correct. But $0.99, people can tolerate. Correct. Two ninety nine, you have to kind of research. Two ninety nine, dollars I'm like, you really don't know. have to look at. Exactly. If you're Anything buying, over like, $3.99, it better be a spectacular fucking app. It better be a app. really good app. Yeah. yeah. You better be able to drive my car with this app at like yeah. $10 or whatever. So, meaning that it's like the starting price. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it'll be a little uh, a little weird, but 
yeah, thank God I'm already starting to get people shoving codes my way. Good, so good, that's good. a good thing. Um, but yeah, this one is the Weemi Avatar Creator, and it's from um, Small Medium is the mm-hmm. name of the company. Mm-hmm. And I took the liberty, actually, of beforehand, I, I Weemied you. <gasps> I've been Weemied. <laughs> um, well, actually, let me uh, let me show you who I've Weemied so far really quick. Mm-hmm. I Weemied um, Emily Gibson. Oh, let's see. What's the best camera? Okay, so let's this show one? the camera. There's Emily. Oh, over, over. Oh, there we go. Is it going to show up very well? It's not going to show up Probably that well. Not. We can see her body. Okay. But I, you I know what? Let me see. Yeah, can we like try it on? We can, let's try on Sabrina's it. camera because the glare is often. Oh, there you go. No. Yeah. No. Oh. Kind of. There you go. Oh. Ish. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. That's a big fail. But that's okay. That's okay. So I, I did Emily. She's got the checkered shoes mm-hmm. and the cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. Um, I did. Um, myself. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see the Sabrina. Oh, we're gonna try again. Look at the Sabrina. <laughs> you can't see her either. It doesn't work. Look at the blurry. Well. It's blurry. It's nice, yeah. right? <laughs> That's a really good likeness. I thought so. And then I did. Um, I did Rose. Oh. And I had. A, I, I redid her because I gave him her a birthday cake, and she's like, "Oh yes, Sabrina, I walk around with a birthday cake because it was like close to her birthday." <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to make it cute, and so I redid her. But and she was like, "Yeah, I have a birthday cake all the time." The nice. best one. Robert Wagner. <laughs> Is he drinking an energy drink? Yes. yes. <laughs> no, nice. he's like quit him or whatever. But yeah, mm-hmm. I thought that was pretty. Darn I like funny, that a lot. So let me um. Find she's, you here. She's finding me. She's looking for me right now. Okay, the thing about this, I really love this app. I absolutely adore it. But the hairstyles, they don't make anybody with bangs mm. that doesn't have hair like all poofed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I made, I made this. This is. I could go bangless. Look at that. Check it. I've got boots. I've got you my got iPhone. boots, but they're like you know they're cowboy boots. And I know you're like not a That's cowboy okay. boot girl, That's okay. but you know. I've got my. Can you see? Look at this. It's all gothy <laughs> in the back. Oh, further still, away yeah yeah you can't see I'm wearing all black and my hair is black and I've got boots on and I have an iPhone and it's all gothy and there's little roses in the back <laughs> that's so <laughs> cute so I, I didn't have that. time I was going to wee me Mike and uh, wee me like everybody know but that's that's the cool thing about this app that I'm just really in love with is that you can create them for your contacts so when somebody mm-hmm. calls instead of it you pops know, up it just pops up this is the person that's calling you which so. is a lot less trouble than I go through because I try to find like my contacts like I try to find them on like Flickr or something. I try to download mm-hmm. the photo that they have and put it on my iPhone. Morgan is laughing at me because she knows that on that I have a, a photo of her on my phone <laughs> from Thirty Hour Day. But I was like, no, this should be this should be her avatar. And I get it set up and yeah, because yeah. then I'm all like, oh, oh look, it's Morgan. I know her. Yeah. So I have two apps for you. Okay. Okay. The first one. Are, are you a Foursquare person? Do you mm-hmm. do Foursquare? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to tell you that you should check out Kickball anyway, but it doesn't okay. make doesn't make a lick of sense if you don't do Foursquare. I know Robert does Foursquare. Mm-hmm. Do Rose or Emily do Foursquare? Emily does not. Rose, I think she actually does um, Goala. Goala. Yeah, Kickball is awesome. It's a Foursquare. It's like a, it's like a client like for a Foursquare. Square. It's like okay. a like a, like a Tweety or Tweet Deck okay. but for Foursquare. Gotcha. And it's super awesome, and they're local. Okay. And then um, the other one is We Rule, which you've got to get on and play so that so okay. that our kingdoms can be little neighbors. Oh my God! I know. Are you serious? Yes. I could be your neighbor in so a kingdom. Me, yes. That let is me show awesome. you. Let me show you. So it's loading. Okay. Isn't that cute? The camera. It's very cute. And oh, yeah. I don't want. I don't want that. See, so oh, Cami has. Yeah, these iPhone screens don't show up well they on the don't. camera. So here's my kingdom right here. I, I'm level 13. Cute. And you go in. It's And it's a free app. Okay. And you play with your friends, and you can hook up with all your friends. And you go and Let me see if my crops are ready. No, my potatoes. Let's see. My potatoes have an hour and 18 minutes left. What? The potatoes take a while to grow. My My watermelons, 11 hours. Are you serious? So what are you growing like right now? What are you growing this instant? What am I going to get instant gratification on? Um, no, I actually invested. I did some longer term crops right now because I knew I was going to be doing the show and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, and I didn't want to lose any. So I'm an hour and 18 minutes away from all my potatoes. My watermelons, watermelons take like 12 or 16 hours or something like that. Oh, That's wow. crazy. But there's some that take like five minutes okay. or 30 seconds. Okay, or I was going to say, hour. because then how 
are you playing this game? Is this like Correct. a words with friends but with a farm? No, and see these little houses? Yeah. This makes me evil. It's like I'm like the sheriff of Nottingham. Um, these little houses that you mm -hmm. build, you get to collect taxes from them. Nice. Yes. So you get to collect taxes, and then you get like these are my dress shops, and you can like build dresses. Like people will come and order dresses, Sweet. and you get money for it. And then this is my favorite. This is the bakery. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you get at the bakery? What do you get at the bakery? Oh my gosh, baking for pretend what? Oh, that's oh, the person. You get you get, no, you get cupcakes. Oh, it's they, the they do thing. cupcake orders. And there's this frog, if the volume's on and you click on the frog, it makes a frog noise at you. Ooh. I don't know why I'm entertained by this, but I am. Okay. It's because James Keller made me download it, and then I got all sucked into it. It's really hard with apps like that when people are like, you have to play this, Correct. and you start playing it, and then you realize after a while that you are completely addicted to this game and you want to kill the person that recommended Correct. it Correct, and you're you. like, why am I even playing this? Mm -hmm. But you wake up in the morning to make sure that your crops aren't dead. So that you can get to level 15, so that you can build, you get a bigger land, mm -hmm. so that you can have more farms and put a river completely surrounding your... I have plants. When I get to level 15, I get to expand again. Did you just say I have plans? I did. Oh, my God. I know. It's wrong, isn't wow. it? <laughs> it's all kinds of wrong. I have plans. You what? have plans for your plants. No, plans, not for the plants, but for the kingdom. For the, kingdom. Oh, for for the, the kingdom. kingdom. Because oh, I wow. want to put a river around Those the like kingdom. Long -term plans but building me. that whole river around the kingdom seems absurd since I plan to expand the size of my kingdom when I hit level 15, which is in just two levels. Okay. So I'm waiting until I hit level 15 so that I can buy the larger castle. Of course. Yeah. Of course. I didn't say it was. I didn't say it made sense <laughs> or that it was yeah, at all I, sane. I know. I'm, I, I, yeah, I have family over here. She'd be. She, she, She'd, She'd yell at me. She'd yell She'd at me. like, that's stupid. That's stupid. Well, I know. Emily, I know it's stupid. I this can't is, help a, this it. is it's from stupid. a person that paid. She paid. I have to tell you this because it made me literally pee my pants. She had paid for an application. Uh-huh. That's called Hold Me. Hold or me. Hold On. Excuse hold me. Hold On. on. Okay. And it's this button. And all you do is you push the button. Mm hmm And it's a timer. To see how long you can hold it? To see how long you can hold the button. She made it like eight minutes. Wow. Which is really good. That is. But she paid for the fucking app. <laughs> it's so, just like, wow, But it really? keeps your iPhone on the whole time? It keeps it on the whole time, and you just sit there and just hold this button. So I could be, I could actually be playing Hold On right now. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't stupid enough to pay for it, but yeah, no, she I'm, loves it. She absolutely loves it. I don't really understand why, but, you know, teach their own. Everybody likes their own stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, she it just, I thought it was really funny. Yeah, my time suck was free, and I can make other people, I, great joy. Mm-hmm. Making other people play my oh, game. Totally. I don't. Yeah. But only because James made me do it. No. Okay. Fourth show. The Nerd Report. Nerd Report. Nerd Report. It's uh, Thursdays at mm -hmm. 3. So we've got Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sabrina and Emily Hour, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Nerd Report we've been doing for a while. And it's, um, I think a lot of people don't quite get the show sometimes because it's just like, different nerd stuff it's different, different nerdy stuff every week yeah and we just and different kinds of nerdiness yeah, yeah. we want to find out why you're nerdy about what you're nerdy about we know absolutely nothing mm -hmm. i kind of explained it um yesterday on the show that i don't particularly think of myself as a nerd i think of myself as like the uber dork mm -hmm. i'm just dorky about a lot of things mm -hmm. i'm not really passionate about so one specific how would you thing. define a nerd versus a dork somebody that is uniquely passionate about one particular thing or a whole bunch of particular things but just really strongly about them okay. and they know the ins and outs of like these three things whether it be here's Star Wars Star Trek and Lord of the Rings okay. they know those things inside and out and they can quote whatever it is from they can go through trivia they really really know and they are so passionate. It's a part, it is a part of their it's life. It's a part of their lives, yeah. yes. Where I'm a dork and like, oh, yeah, that sounds cool, and yeah, I don't... I'm so a dork is not as dedicated. It's not nearly as dedicated. Okay. It's kind of like taking little pieces of all of the nerdy things okay. and rolling them into one, confusing the shit out of you, and then spitting them back out. That's kind of what I think of. What's that? What are we doing, Morgan? <laughs> There's a Venn diagram of nerd, geek, nerd, and dork. Oh, oh cool. okay, that's nice. I'll cool. have to go and, and look at that. Could you, could you? Oh, we don't do that. I was gonna say, could you link it up down there? And then I realized that that's the wrong show. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We yeah. Don't. So we just basically explore what these people are nerdy about, and we try to find out uh, more about them. I mean, 
I know absolutely nothing about um, uh, like Star Wars from what I've seen, but I don't see it through the eyes of somebody that is. You know nothing about Star Wars. I know, I know Star Wars, but like, okay, it's right. like somebody like don't, Emily. Don't get me worked up. Emily has never seen Star Wars. What's wrong with that girl? I don't know. She's never seen. She's just science fiction is just not her thing. But it's not. It's Star Wars. I understand. It's not like it's like. It's not like it's scary science fiction. It's Star Wars. It's just Star Wars. But uh, but she's very young. She is young, and that's you know that's kind of where we both work together. And there's a lot of things that she, she knows. She still has time to watch Star Wars. She does. But but can you do me a favor? Yes. Make sure that someday when she does watch them, she watches the original three movies before she watches the, the first three. three. Yes, I understand. I would have totally agree. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, that's where we really work together is because there's things that she knows a lot about and she mm-hmm. can relate to the guest a little bit better than I can. Yeah. I end up learning something from it. And there's times where she just has, she doesn't know. Yeah. And so she ends up learning something from yeah. it. And it kind of, you know, and in times it kind of like sparks this sense of interest on, I, I really should be paying attention to Star Trek. I mean, it's like part of pop culture, and this is something that I don't know a lot about. We did a full week dedicated to Star Trek, mm-hmm. um, but there's been other things that um, that really aren't considered nerdy that people don't quite get. We had a lady that was really into scrapbooking. That yeah, I consider that nerdy. I mean, if you're like, into it, it can enough. be. Yeah, I mean, especially hey, you know, it's 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 like a lot of money and stuff to do all that. But she just wasn't really. Neither one of us were kind of like, oh, like oh, scrapbooking, okay. Yeah, and. This lady was awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, it kind of made us want to go. Yeah, well, here's a whole bunch of pictures. Let's see what we can do with them. Yeah, you know. So it, it my just mom kind has of, that effect on people as well. Yeah, yeah. Kind of has a renewed sense of oh wow, you know. But then there's other things. Oh, we had like a guy on the other day for uh, war gamers mm-hmm. knew absolutely nothing about it, mm-hmm. um, and it taught us a lot. And it's just like okay, well, this is something that this other person is completely into. See, that's something I I really like that you bring about the show because. I love when I have people on the show that I don't, I can't even comprehend what they're doing, uh-huh. and and to get to hear that and to get to learn something exactly. and to understand something by the end of a show mm-hmm. is phenomenal. It's a really good feeling. Yeah, it really is. And there's there's so many times where I leave, just thinking, wow, this this person is so smart and they really know what they're doing with this particular thing, you know, mm-hmm. whether it's, hey, um, Harry Potter fans or Twilight fans mm-hmm. or, um, <laughs> yeah, I fan know, <laughs> well, that one was kind of cool because we had like a mom and a daughter on yeah. and yeah, it was, we, we wanted to make it appropriate because she was like 13, mm-hmm. but it's like, well, what a unique combination of here's a, a girl that was into this mm-hmm. and so much so that her mother was paying enough attention to go, why are you always talking about this? Edward and Bella, I don't understand, Mm -hmm. and took enough of an interest, just for me, from, like, a human aspect side or whatever, call Mm -hmm. me a dork, that's fine. It, just to me, it was it was interesting she enough. She said to call her a dork. I know, So I you. did. I was just It was interesting enough to want to get them in to talk about, yeah. you know, as to how does this affect, you know, a relationship between, you know, a, a mother and daughter and yeah. a family and the whole bit. I mean, it, that and I knew nothing about Twilight, absolutely nothing, and, you know, I, I still Vampires, have, werewolves. And they... Glitter or sparkle or some shit. I don't know. Um, Glimmer. I still haven't seen it. Sparkle. I don't know. The, oh, I, 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 oh, I've seen the movies. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's... I saw them. Please Oh, did they don't, don't watch them. <laughs> it's not worth it. It'll hurt you and make you vomit a little in your mouth. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're just going to move right past that. Um, you are not just the host extraordinaire on PDX FM, though. No. No. Mm-hmm. You used to just be host extraordinaire and then a whole bunch of other stuff that was completely, you know, unrecognized outwardly. But what is it that you are actually at PDX FM? Um, I like to think of myself as operations manager. Mm-hmm. I think that's like a good, well-rounded title. Mm-hmm. It's... Everything from coordinating schedules, um, accommodating people that need to do Mm -hmm. pre-records, making sure that their guests have the right information. You're kind of like the mama bear. I'm kind of like the mama bear, yeah. Yeah. It's it's making sure that it's all the schedule stuff, and it's it's dealing a lot with the audio and making sure that, you know, 
things are recorded, they're done in the order in which they were received, um, you record it and you cut it down and then you upload it and then you post it and then, you know, there's like a whole sequential thing and making sure that yeah. all of those little pieces are taken care of um, throughout everybody's shows mm -hmm. through, you know, the Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday and really just trying to be a part of their development too, mm -hmm. of those shows mm -hmm. and whatever aspect of support that I can give our hosts, damn straight I'm going to do it because I really believe in their shows. I really believe in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I love, absolutely love about my job is, number one, I think it's the best job in the world. Mm -hmm. And number two, I get to help with the development of what these people are passionate about. It's yeah. like my own nerd report. Yeah. In a way. And I... I See, you are a nerd, I not know, a dork. I am a nerd, no. Sabrina's <laughs> is a nerd, I not a dork. That. I, I love the fact that, that somebody like... Michelle from Knit Happens, mm -hmm. who has no experience in doing any of this. Mm -hmm. She just likes to knit. Mm -hmm. And she never claims to know anything about, you know, she's like, there's things that I don't know. She just know. likes knitting. She just likes knitting. You know, same thing with Alex and with Hi of Hike Yeah and Paul and, um, and all of these new people and these new shows that we've been getting in. It's like, I really want to know more about Ham Fisted Radio and Don Taylor. Mm -hmm. You know, they just started a couple weeks ago. Um, I really want to know more about um, the BS Movie Guys. They just mm -hmm. had their second episode today. I want to know more about what they're doing. You know, mm -hmm. I wish I had more time to really sit and listen to everything. And you want to know more about what it is that Court and Bobby babble about on a daily basis. You have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, I have a little bit of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> they're really unique as far as, yeah, I don't, uh, there's times, honestly, I don't, I, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. I just, I feel so inadequate listening to their show. <laughs> I feel inadequate listening to the Court and Boy wow, show. I don't know, I, I can't understand what you guys are saying. Mm -hmm. And it's not for lack of, like, listening or trying to comprehend it, it's just, uh, I don't get it. Oh my god! Oh my god, nerds! Yeah. And, but that's okay. They they welcome that at any time. And yeah. There's times where I really wanted to do that, just right in the middle of the show, just bust right in and say that. And I'm sure again that they'd welcome that. They but would. I'm they totally barely would. certain that they would allow you to come shrieking the word nerds on their mm -hmm. show. And they've allowed actually a lot of us to hump them. Mm -hmm. So that's that's been a good thing. Yeah, they get they get like you know emotionally humped by Byron Beck once a week. Yes, once a week they do. Yeah. And he's absolutely wonderful because he brings us candy. Oh, nice. Yes, he he goes into the plaid pantry every day to buy something, and he always leave something behind. Mm -hmm. And Byron's great. I love Byron. And yeah, I'd like to get to know him better too, just mm -hmm. as to, you know, this guy just seems really awesome. But it's, as far as the whole responsibility of PDX.FM, it's, it's been, um, kind of a wild thing. So, yeah, you know, just yeah. making sure that we've got everything in place, making sure that we have, uh, as many people on board and kind of going in the right direction. The communication is usually, is always there, yeah. um, in the, in the direction that it needs to be. But, um. You know, bringing on new shows and I don't know, just meeting new people. It's a lot of, it's been a lot of fun. So you're not like, so for let, let's start with this. Okay, no wait, we're gonna take a sidetrack for a moment. We're gonna talk about the fact that you have chickens on your purse, mm -hmm. and then we'll get back to what we're doing. You have chickens, lots of I chickens, do. and a rooster, and they're sequined. You have sequined <laughs> chickens and sunflowers on your purse. I do. I she am. would like you to hold it up for the oh, over yes. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sequined chickens. How, how did you come about owning a sequined chicken? Two words. Saturday market. market. Yes, and it was like $7. Yeah. And the weird thing about it is is that... Um, Do you like chickens? I don't. Interesting. I like eating them. I like to eat I chickens. I think they're delicious. Yeah, chickens are tasty. I don't... Um, well, when, when properly. When I don't properly know. done. Yeah. I'm not um, at all... I don't think I am. Like a girly girl, mm -hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So for me to be carrying a purse right now, mm -hmm. it's a little odd. You're not a purse carrier? I'm not a purse carrier. I like carrier. to have my stuff with I have me. a lot of purses. I'm like an accessory whore. Mm -hmm. I've got tons of hats, tons of sunglasses, tons mm -hmm. of purses. But you don't use them? But I don't really use them. The mm -hmm. hats, yeah, I'll use the hats. Yeah. The sunglasses, you know, when the sun's actually out in our fair state, yes, I will wear them. I wear the sunglasses whether the sun is out or not. I have delicate little eyes. Oh, that's good. Or something. But know. that kind of boosts, you know, boosts things too. Just yeah. kind of like, yeah, it could be sunny out. 
I'm choosing to think that it's sunny by wearing my sunglasses. Positive anyway. thinking. Exactly. Positive thinking. <laughs> so you don't normally carry purses. I normally don't carry purses. Usually it's, hey, the wallet's in the butt. Mm-hmm. Keys yeah, are in one pocket. That's funny because it depends. If I'm just like walking to the store or something, mm-hmm. wallet is in the butt pocket, keys uh-huh. are in the pocket, iPhone's in the pocket. Mm-hmm. Or actually, people who know me well enough know mm-hmm. that I actually usually stick a wallet in one boot and an oh. iPhone in the other. Nice. Because I, I wear a lot of skirts. Producer Morgan is laughing, but I am well known for my wearing of my iPhone and my wallet and my boots because it's convenient. She's laughing. <laughs> it's very convenient. You want to know where this all started? It was the first Portland Word Camp. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be wandering around. I didn't want to take a purse. I was trying to go. I had to go somewhere. I was leaving my laptop where I was, mm-hmm. and I wanted my iPhone with me, and I don't think I had pockets. I, don't, I can't remember what I was wearing. So I stuck my iPhone in my boot, and someone took a picture of it. And I was like, that's funny. Why are they taking a picture of my iPhone in my boot? And that day I realized, well, this is a really convenient place to store my iPhone. Totally. And I wear really tall socks. So you well, just you have the high it. boots, so it just works. It just tucks right in. So that was the day I started wearing my iPhone in my boot. That's awesome. And when I went to when I went to South by Southwest, I, I carried all sorts of crap in my boots. <laughs> I was like, Excuse okay, me, wait, let what, me just, uh, what can I put in there? We've got the iPhone here, and the Leatherman here, and the wallet here, and then over here. How we, did you not get blisters walking around? Awesome boots, and because I had you wear the tight, so you wear the. <laughs> I wear the tall socks. You oh, there see? you go. Okay. I wear. I like socks a lot. Uh-huh. So you wear the tall socks, and they hold oh, tight they hold enough that you, you can put it inside the sock. Okay. Um, oh, and my camera. Oh, that's my little tiny camera. Yep. So it was my wallet, my Leatherman, my iPhone, and my camera tucked into my boot at South by wow. Southwest. You were just a go-go gadgetron. Yeah, until Seriously. I sprained my ankle, and then it was a little more difficult. Oh. Then I could only really shove stuff into one boot. <laughs> Whoops. I made it work. (laughs) (laughs) What? It's not... You know what? Here's the thing. I'm a girly girl who likes to be practical. And I think I'm just a practical girl. I'm not too girly girl. Yeah. I know a lot of people would dispute that, but I just... I'm. I'm I like my purses. I take purses places Mm -hmm. when I need to, but if I can't help it, my boots are enough of an accessory for me. They're enough of a purse. I have enough pairs of boots to shove things into. There you go. Whatever. You know, in the olden days, I would just shove things into my bra, but that doesn't make for a clean bust line. It does not. It kind of goes... Exactly. I don't like that. That doesn't look good. I don't like that either. I have been known, like, to occasionally shove a little bit of money and an ID in there if need be. Yeah. But it's almost kind of like emergency. It is. I have no other pockets, and they're kind of, like, full, Mm -hmm. or they're being taken up by, you know, other people's crap. And, I um, refuse to carry other people's crap in I my pockets. I usually get held with other people's crap. Yeah, yeah. No, if I have a purse, I'm willing to be helpful, but no, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. That's where you're in danger with the chicken purse. It has a lot of room in it. It's good. I should have room in it. Why is the chicken purse here? Why do you have the chicken purse out tonight? Because I had a whole bunch of things that I needed to carry with me. Mm. I needed... Um, Fair. I needed my makeup because I, I usually don't wear makeup, but it's just. But you're on the show. I'm, I'm going to be on the show, so yeah. I have probably makeup and my hairbrush and mm-hmm. my um, deodorant, mm-hmm. just in case you said in you know Sabrina, smell you're a little smelly. You just you know. Oh sure, I have that right in my purse. Let me just get that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take care of that for you. I yeah. don't want to be offensive. Exactly. Yeah. No. So that's cool. I yeah, understand. Just chicken person. I. I use it every once in a while. I'm just not a big. I don't like carrying things. I don't like being inhibited by. Which is why things. I store things in my boots, but you wear Converse, and it's very little storage room. A very little storage room, and normally I don't. You might be able to wear stick Converse, a penny in there. Yeah, I'm usually kind of a Nike. Well, I guess these are Nikes, but. But yeah, Nike owns Converse now, don't they? Yeah, I have yeah. really high arches, and so wearing Converse, if I know I'm just going to be kind of lounging around, not walking a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and wear them because they look cool. But other than that. Yeah. No. no. I don't no wear. I don't really wear tennis shoes. Yeah. I have a pair of Converse, and I have a pair of some other tennis shoes that I wear when I'm, like, doing house, like, like painting or construction or demo mm-hmm. or something, like, yeah, yeah. work on the house, not, uh-huh. like, cleaning it. I'm not really a sneaker person, though. Yeah. Yeah. I usually wasn't. Yeah. I mean, I've never really been. I was a shoe whore from way back. Yeah. And then I kind of, I I'd just like, figured I grew up. I don't know. I'd like to think I'm not a shoe whore, but. I think you kind of are. I, I am. I think you are, yeah. It's. Yeah, I am. When, when uh, like, uh, a month or two ago, I mm-hmm. bought a pair of, like, five-and-a-half-inch heels. Are you insane? Yeah, I had to admit that I'm a shoe whore. I had to oh admit it. Oh, my God. They're, for as far as, like, five-inch heels go, they're comfortable. 
Okay. As far as five inch heels oh, go. Okay, all right. We I did walked. Say that. I walked like blocks and blocks in them. I wore wow. them all night, and my feet didn't hurt. Wow. And they're really pretty. Well, but I justify good. it this way. I do a show for an hour every week mm-hmm. where I have to sit here, and there's one camera. There's a camera that picks up my feet. And one of my pet peeves about podcasting is those guys that sit on the couch with their socks. You know, you've seen it. Yes. Like the nerdy guy on the couch with their laptop and their socks. And you're like, God damn it, just put some fucking shoes on. <laughs> this is this is not a oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. And they're really, like, ugly, like, mustard yellow. Like, they're, like, ugly. Like, the socks are all stained. And yeah. Yeah. And you're like, dude, what is wrong with you? What have you been doing that sock for? Do an audio show <laughs> or put shoes on. <laughs> Those are your choices. Do an audio show or put shoes on. Or make the camera, you know, from the waist up. I, I do mean PDX barefoot. Not barefoot, but sock foot. Cool. Unless it gets really warm. And then I take my socks off and I do it barefoot. But I get, I get pedicures. And I have nice socks, and the camera's not showing any of it. Well, maybe the maybe you guys should change that. No, it should not be changed. <laughs> no, producer Morgan, don't make the face and don't get any ideas. We're not having a cami sock episode of, unless we can have like sock puppets. Hello, my name is Cami Chaos, and I'm Rick Tarosi. Welcome to movie. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys let me have shows? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Seriously? This is what this is what it's come down to? That's sad. I actually had questions for Sabrina. I'm gonna put the sock puppets away. Sabrina. <laughs> you don't have a background in radio. No. Actually before we get to this question, for anyone who doesn't know what PDX.fm is. It's an online streaming mm-hmm. internet. Audio, radio station, whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. It's not podcasts, people. It's not podcasts. They're it's shows. They're shows. They're not podcasts. It's not radio. It's online audio content. Exactly. Yes. You don't have a background in online audio content or radio. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get involved in this? I just kind of luck, actually. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I don't have a background in it, mm-hmm. and it was something that. When Portland Sucks first started, Robert was was doing it. Started out as a blog for him, mm-hmm. and he started doing it. Um, Robert Wagner, PDX Robert Wagner, Sucks on PDX Twitter. Sucks. If you guys aren't familiar, mm-hmm. um, hi Robert, editor at PDXSucks.com. Or uh, I just he started doing this and became a blog, and then he started doing like a weekly show. And mm-hmm. I've known him for a while, and he's just like. This is this is kind of ridiculous. It's an echo know? chamber when you're by yourself. It really is. And he's he's absolutely brilliant mm-hmm. at doing shows by himself. Mm-hmm. But it takes a lot of work. It takes like everything out of you to do a show by yourself every day. Every day. Yeah. And so he said, "Well, let's maybe do I think he started doing like once a week mm-hmm. and then he did like a week I think every day by himself and mm-hmm. you know, he's like this is this is ridiculous. Just come on be my co-host." And I said, "Okay." And just really haven't looked back, and mm-hmm. it's um, God, it's been a really, really wild ride. Just being able to share my morning with you know with him as snarky and as you know sometimes mean as he is. Um, I I really don't know what else I would be doing between eight and nine o'clock every sleeping. I, seriously, I wouldn't. I, no? I've, I've tried. Oh, I would be sleeping. No, I I, yeah. I, I, I don't think I could. Honestly, I think I'd I'd be awake and going. I want to do a show. I want to do a show. Oh, no, I before, before you show. before you did a show. Before I did a show, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Something, but, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's, it's, it really has been an incredible experience in working with him every day mm-hmm. um, for however much shit he ends up giving me every day. Yeah. I always look at it as doing that show every morning has really helped me grow as an individual mm-hmm. um, and has helped me realize kind of it's kind of like renewed my sense, my my love of the city, mm-hmm. because there's been so many people saying, "You guys should check this out. Why don't you go over here?" Do you know, there's been so you know many like helpful, you, you know, suggestions as far as that kind of stuff goes, and it's like, wow, this is this is the best job in the world. So why don't you tell me about the chocolate penis mold episode? Oh my god, seriously, seriously, that's some <laughs> disturbing <laughs> shit, there, man. That is some disturbing shit. It's really disturbing, yes. Um, Give a little recap for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. And just forgive me. Producer Morgan doesn't know what I'm talking about. Oh, God. She didn't hear the chocolate penis mold episode. Okay, well, it kind of comes in two parts. 
Yeah. And I'm not talking okay. about like the regular two parts. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a company uh, locally in town called Empire Labs, and <laughs> they had sent over a ton of product. Uh-huh. And it was everything from uh, tongue vibes to make your own, you know, clone willy kits. Mm-hmm. And then we had them on the show mm-hmm. and had a really great time. And mm-hmm. they said, you know, they gave, they like left their displays. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, wow, there's like even more product. Mm-hmm. And so Robert just decided that he was going to clone his own. Company. I remember the episode before he did when he was like, I'm going to do this yeah. on, the, on the air. I'm going to do this on the air. And, and I'm I was like, yeah, like I right. think no, I need to not, not listen to the episode where he does that on the air. I think I might be too delicate for that. Hmm. All right. So yes. go ahead. It was very, yeah, it was a very uh, delicate situation, and um, there was a screen provided. <laughs> Tell me, there was a screen provided. He was very discreet about it. I didn't see anything because the way that we sit at the he tables and discreet. everything. He was very you know, discreet. Seriously, the way that we sit at the tables, I can't see because he, he has had a computer to harden himself right in order to make the chocolate. Clone. But that's the brilliancy of it yeah. is because you know he turned the the laptop this way so that, and I'm basically let's say where you are, and let's mm-hmm. say that I'm Robert, and so here's my. Even pretending that you're Robert makes me uncomfortable. (laughs) I'm just gonna, you know. Okay, well, you can be me, or I can be you, and uh, yeah, no, so there was. I don't want to be Robert either, because then I have to jerk off on camera now, because the cameras are clearly pointed at me. You guys have no cameras. That's the we luxury. We don't have any cameras, yeah. exactly. So, no, it was the way that the tables are, and because I'm kind of short anyway, it just, yeah. it all worked out so that it's just like, all I saw was a screen. I didn't, you know, his like his laptop yeah. screen. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was very interesting as to, yes, I had to leave. I had to, like, mix this stuff up, and I put it on the table, and I very quickly, promptly walked back to my seat, mm-hmm. and he took care of the rest, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, it's basically... Why do I ask these questions? Because I, really I want know. you to answer. That's why, but still. Yeah, no, it's basically, it's it's a mold. Mm-hmm. Just Morgan, just, you know, it's a mold for the penis. Mm-hmm. And he went, and it made this really horrendous noise when he stuck his stick in there. Mm-hmm. And he kind of waited like 30 seconds, and then mm-hmm. kind of came out. And then you let it sit and harden in the refrigerator for a while, and then you can kind of pour, you know, like your candle wax or your chocolate. In this case, it was chocolate, you know, mm-hmm. in there. And it sat in the, like, the mole actually sat in the fridge for a little while, and then one day it was just kind of gone. And I didn't really <laughs> think anything of it. And what was it, like a week, maybe two weeks later, or something mm-hmm. like that? So the second part of the episode, um, we're sitting there talking, and all of a sudden he just goes, and just throws his chocolate dick right down on the table right in front of me. Slapped his dick down on the table. He just went, there you go. And I said, oh, my God, what is this? And then I looked at it. I'm like, oh, my God, I freaked out even more. And so he's like, you know, we kind of had our laughs or our oh, my God moments. And yeah. put it on a plate and cut it, which I don't understand how he was able to do it. And it was kind of like, I don't remember which part of it it was, but it was... Almost kind of like a, you got to break it apart type yeah. thing. Yeah. And see, for those of you that know me on the show and you don't see my hand motions yeah. all the time, you're seeing my hand motions now, and I hope yeah. you appreciate it. I've, I've watched you record. You're a hand motion girl. I am a hand motion girl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when I say, like, jerking off, I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing this in a big way so that other people know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Big hand movements. Big hand movements for people that are audio only. Oh, Sabrina, 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 <laughs> Sabrina, Sabrina. When you're not doing PDX.FM stuff, what is it that you do with all of your huge amounts of spare time? I do PDX.AM. Ah. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I would say that that was a cop-out, but it is an answer. It is an answer, So yeah. tell us about PDX.AM. Uh, PDX.AM was formerly... PDX.FM channel two. Mm-hmm. And it was just, it, we saw a really good opportunity for rebranding uh, or for branding it actually. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people were confused as to, well, what is this channel two? It's the not naughty channel. It's the, it's the PDX.FM light. That's kind of how I describe it's it. It's not naughty. It's really not naughty. It's very not naughty. No. It's, it's appropriate. It's very appropriate. And safe. And warm and fuzzy. And fuzzy. <laughs> it is. It's all happy all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's triples and bunnies. Sure. And Something unicorns like with rainbows. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Not the burial ground version. The live, fuzzy, talking unicorns. Mm-hmm. So it, there's no unicorns. I'm lying. 
I am lying. There are no unicorns on PDX.am. No. No. Yet. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, it, we, uh, like I said, kind of saw this opportunity to to brand it, and it's like, well, why not? Because mm-hmm. people didn't, I think some people understood what the Channel 2 thing was, but I don't think a lot of people understood why. Yeah. A lot of people had said, well, I just thought it was because, like, if I can't get you here on Channel 1, I'll get you over here on Channel 2. Ah. Uh, no, it's a completely It's not like different. the radio. This yeah. is the internet, people. It's a completely different It's a different clicky type. thing. You go click. Oh. Oh, click. you're programming. There's we'll no look. reception. Yeah. It's not a turn the knob kind exactly. of thing. Exactly. So, um, so we, we built up PDX.am for everything that was, you know, on Channel 2 is now on there. And, yeah, it is the lighter side. It's, um, we start every morning off with uh, free range meditation. And mm-hmm. uh, it's... Mm-hmm. That's what it is. I mean, it's actually been a fairly, fairly popular show that mm-hmm. you can just sit and meditate for a half hour, sometimes an hour, sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes mm-hmm. 20 minutes. And then we roll um, into the life of Portlandic with uh, Doug, Doug Zanger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, then we go into Exceptional Women Northwest at 10 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And that's a really great show. It features a lot of, well, exceptional women mm-hmm. in the Northwest, mm-hmm. things that people I've never, never heard of, mm-hmm. never would have thought to even look up mm-hmm. and so it's you know from from the dot am side it's it's very it's a very inspiring show yeah um 11 o'clock is our parenting hour mm-hmm. and so we've got parenting unplugged single and dad's unplugged mm-hmm. and then um, we roll into just a lot of little you know like miscellaneous things throughout the rest of the day um book shows and pet shows and uh we have uh a, like one sports show i think but it's just all kind of like I don't want to say like feel good stuff, but it really is. It's informative. It's educational. Yeah. Um, it's meant to inspire. It's meant to be seriously the lighter side of PDX.FM. Yeah. And so I think by by separating those two, people really understand. There's like all this other cool stuff over here that, well, I, I didn't know that you guys had. Or yeah. I'm a parent. I should be listening to the show. Or, you know, <laughs> yeah. Some people were like, no, I really don't want to listen to the yeah. show. But. <laughs> You know, to each their own. I mean, they've they've done a good job at that. Um, there's a fantastic show about. Um, there's a music show. Mm-hmm. It's between the notes on Thursdays. It's mm-hmm. a phenomenal show. Um, so there's a lot of just different, really, really different. It's the yin and yang. Seriously. Yeah. You know, we don't we don't really have any health show. There's no health show on PDX.FM other well, than you know everybody bouncing up and down from NOS all day. You know, yeah. there's this is what not to do. Yeah. PDX.FM. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Managing all that, you know, the mm-hmm. the dot am side, managing the stuff on the dot fm side, you know, there's a little bit of time, you know, to get in there to, you know, attend and and go to Seventh Planet picture shows mm-hmm. and um, to go to, of course, Timbers games, mm-hmm. go Timbers, and uh, just Woo-hoo, just to Timbers. have fun. And um, I, the past year, kind of feel like I've been exploring my city all over again. Mm-hmm. And it's been, you know, personally a really, really great experience. All right. So before we go, I've got mm-hmm. two more questions for you. Okay. Both pretty simple. About how many shows do you guys have between the two stations? About ish. About uh, forty to fifty. Forty to fifty mm-hmm. between the two. Is it split pretty evenly down the middle between yeah. the two? Yeah. 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 And Beacon Fest two thousand ten. Beacon Why don't you tell me? Do you guys have a location and a date? Um, I think we're working on both. Um, mm-hmm. I think the location is actually going to be the same place it the was last East year. East Burn. East Burn, yeah. We're going to block off 18th. I mm-hmm. think right now the what we're trying to decide is do we want to block off one block or do we want to block off two blocks? Yeah. Because it was so huge for us last year. We didn't know what to anticipate. We had no clue. Mm-hmm. Um and knowing that damn near 2,000 people rolled in in yeah. kind of a short amount of time, we realized, okay, well, number one, we've got to move it up. So I think it will be September. We're looking maybe uh, like late August. Okay. Um, so end of summer, early fall. Yeah, end of summer, early fall, just because it is an outdoor event. Yeah. And we're not entirely sure what the weather's going to do. So yeah. we've got a little bit of research to do, yeah. um, of course, on that one. But um, it, it's going to be like seriously a block, if not two, full of nothing but bacon goodness. Good. And we had such a great time last last September. I was it was October third. It was last mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. So, but we, there's a lot of other stuff in the in the pipe, you know, in the pipeline too, as far yeah. as events and things like that. But Bacon Fest is is going to be off the hook. So I knew everyone was excited about it last year, so I thought yeah. I'd bring it up because I remember seeing a tweet. Mm-hmm. All right. So if people want to find you, where can they find you? Uh, well, I guess the best place is uh, PDX.FM. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sabrina at PDX.FM is my email address. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find me on the Twitters, Sabrina at 
Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. At Sabrina underscore PDX. Are you serious? See? Are you serious? You don't even know your own Twitter name? This is this is sad. This is pathetic. Uh, contact at PDX.am if you, mm-hmm. you know have any inquiries or uh, need more information about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on Facebook and stuff like that, too. So... And um, you can listen to her every morning at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. On or you can to 3 o'clock, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Mm-hmm. After hours on Friday at 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. You can find Except tonight, because you served her time this evening. I absolutely love being here, you guys. Thank you so well, much for Thank you so much me. for joining us. Yeah. It was awesome to have you on. Thanks. Really right. appreciate it. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a lovely evening. We'll talk to you later or something. You know. I think we might. I don't know. Are they rolling things? Who knows? I, I don't know. It's Friday. My drink is empty. Oh, damn. Well, what, what can I say? I still have drinks. Yes, you do. You still have drinks. Mm-hmm. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you.